Hey guys, Wing It Wade here, back with another video, and today we're playing Borderlands 3. Uh, I'm showing off my new build today, this is my flak build. It's a ladder flak build, and yeah, it's really fun to use, and I hope you enjoy it. We'll get straight into it, and go for it. So we'll start off with the gear. Uh, like I say, because this is a Vladov flak build, I am using just Vladov guns, and because I'm using Vladov guns, I'm obviously going to use the monarchs and light shows you can see here they've all got the same anointment so while action skill is active i'm getting an extra 200 percent increase in damage which is very vital to this build um and i have got different types of light shows and monarchs monarch is arguably the best gun in the game um, it does a ton amount of damage it's very easy to farm from killer vault and definitely worth picking up and you want different uh elements of this monarch same goes with the light show i've got this light show that does shock damage and i've got another one with incendiary and corrosive they're my three element that my three go-to elements and the light show is just wrecking and is a very good gun for moving around the monarch's very good in bipod mode where you're quite slowed down so when you need to move around and get out of sticky situations it's very easy to switch to the light show and just get straight to it for the shield, I've gone for the Revolter. Uh, I managed to get a double delay on this particular roll, which is really handy because I've got a um, minus 40% recharge delay um, on this shield. Its ability is really cool. So when it's depleted, it becomes shock and rage for 15 seconds, and that's giving you like a buff to your um, shock damage. So that's helping out my light show massively. And because Flak doesn't get much elemental buffs, this is a really good. Um, shield for him to have i also got for the anointment on action skill end gain 50 percent bonus corrosive damage just for that little bit of extra elemental buff we've got the caser nothing special other alternatives would be the hunter seeker or a, a generator a transfusion tracker the health is something you have to manage with this build and the tracker does help out every now and then but um we'll get to more of that in a second the artifact I'm using is the Vladov Company Man. Now you can see this one's giving me increased reload speed, increased mag size, and increased damage, as well as increased shock damage and incendiary damage. Massively helpful. Really lucky to get this roll. I have got a couple more. I've got this one that has health regen on it, uh, but it's reload speed, mag size, and accuracy, so not too helpful on that front. But um, my third one has increased critical hit damage, but the rolls at the bottom don't really help me out at all with my build. So I'm sticking with it, this one with increased damage, increased mag size, and increased reload speed. All very helpful for any Vladoff build. For the class mod, I'm using the stack bot. Uh, this one in particular gives me um, a max health buff and health regen, which really helps out managing that um, health side of survival. For class mod, I've got the stack bot. So this one's a really good roll, I find, because I've got a, a buff to my health and a buff with my health regen. But the class mod itself is really handy. So whenever Flak scores a critical hit, he gains increased weapon damage until they don't score a critical hit. And this is very much a critical hit Flak build. Alternatives would be the Bounty Hunter. I have a nice one here that I use every now and then. This is giving me increased critical hit damage, increased health, increased weapon charge speed i've got another one here that helps out with um, health regen and uh, splash damage action skill damage does not uh buff up fade away so bear that in mind you don't want one with a roll of action skill damage i've also got other stack bots for different occasions this is a very handy one because it's increased my mag size and reload speed again very handy for any vladoff build I've got this one here, which increases my Vladov weapon damage. If it, ha I wish it had um, plus forty percent assault rifle damage, because that would have been really handy. Managed to find a pistol um, damage one, which is pretty handy. But the tier door weapon reload speed is no use to me. <laughs> so yeah, that's the gear I'm using, guys. There are there are other guns you can use. I'm using the, the kick charger every now and then, but not as often as um, what you probably think. Lyuda and Boogeyman. Boogeyman is a good gun, so um, yeah, I've got one Boogeyman, I think I've got two Lyudas. Obviously a very good gun, been a good gun pretty much for the majority of the, the release of the game. I've got an Ogre, just for 
if I ever need it, um, I've got a Monarch with no elemental um, ability, so that just does a lot of damage. But generally, yeah, this this is this is the selection, this is the gear. So, yeah, have fun farming for it. It's all relatively easy to farm though, so you shouldn't worry too much. On to the skill tree. So uh, I'll start off by saying that yes, I'm using Fade Away. It's a very handy skill, probably my favourite for flak. I'm getting an extra 200% critical hit damage increase while in Fade Away, along with my anointments for my gear of that extra 200% while actually the skill is active. I'm just dishing out so much damage while in Fade Away, and that's where my damage is coming from. For my augments, I'm using Gorillas in the Mist, so this just increases the duration of my um fade away ability so instead of attacking and coming out of fade away i just stay in fade away and i get an increase of my uh, it's just costing me um a little bit of my grill hit damage so 20 it's a good sacrifice to 25 percent uh unblinking eye is the second one i'm using so this one just increases my critical hit damage and yeah very very useful so this is the setup i'm using for that for my pet, I'm using the Spider Ant Scorcher. This gives me an increase of my elemental damage and health regen. Like I say, Flak doesn't get any buffs with elemental damage. This pet does buff it and is definitely worth the buff, in my opinion. Uh, we'll, we'll carry on with the Hunter skill tree. So I've gone very heavy in this skill tree. First one we've got is Interplanetary Stalker. So this is a Hunter skill and it it just gives you more damage as you stack that interplanetary interplanetary stalker <laughs> so for each stack you just get more damage and so does your pet which is really handy leave no trace so when flat scores critical hit there is a chance for one hour to be added to the magazine just increasing that uh, ammo consumption um, ammo count for vladov's high ammo consumption second intention this is another hunter skill whenever flat kills an enemy there is and uh, they gain increased reload speed. Very handy for a Vladov build when you're just using that ammo ridiculously quick because of the high fire rate and you just want to reload that gun and get going again. I've only put two points into it, but definitely worth two points. Hunter's Eye, so flat gains bonuses when fighting different types of enemies. So I'm getting increased critical hit damage, increased armor damage and damage reduction against certain enemies. Very handy. Head count, whenever flak scores or critical hit, there is a chance their actual skill is, cooldown is reduced. You'll notice when I'm really drilling into enemies that my uh, fadeaway ability is coming back ridiculously quickly and I just become able to spam that fadeaway. And I want to be in that fadeaway as often as I can because that's where my damage is coming from. We've got big game, so flax hunter skills become much more effective, so it helps out my two hunter skills from earlier as well as the most dangerous game so this is a hunter skill where flak kills a badass or a stronger enemy he gains increased critical hit damage gun damage and handling so this is really good for melting bosses and big enemies and i'm just getting that increase of gun damage and critical hit damage we've got two points in grim harvest so flak gains increased gun damage and actually skill damage again didn't, I only went for two points because I'm not sure the action skill damage count um, counts towards my fadeaway. So I just went for the two just to get an extra 6% um, of gun damage, which is better than nothing. Galactic Shadow, flak deals increase critical hit damage and enemies are less likely to attack them. So plus 15% worth the point. One point in Megavore, so flak gains a chance to score a critical hit with... Um, weapons against any part of enemies so it's 20 percent chance of getting a critical hit even if i don't hit the crit spot so this is really handy and like i say very much a crit build uh we've gone very heavy in the stalker skill tree this is where the majority of my health regen um comes from uh self-repairing system five points increased max health and i'm constantly regenerating health which is really handy furious attack Hunter, this is another hunter skill after shooting enemy flak gains a stack of furious attack for each stack of furious attack flak's handling and gun damage are increased and their pet gains increased damage per stack so this is just increasing my damage and it does count and it does add up and just goes towards all that damage output eager to impress so this is a kill skill when flak kills an enemy the action skill cooldown time is reduced i've only put three points in it because 
I'm getting my action skill cooldown time from headcount. But yeah, it was worth the three points and it's just helping towards getting that fade away back as quickly as possible. We've gone five points in over overclocked. So uh, flat gains increase fire rate. Fire rate is always going to help out any Vlad off build. Um, so I'm just literally, I'm essentially a bullet storm. I'm just launching those bullets at all enemies in my way. Lick the wounds goes about saying this allows my pet to revive me, which is really handy when you're doing any solo playthrough. Turn tail and run. So this one's a very interesting one and very useful for a Vladov build. So while moving, Flak constantly regenerates health and gains damage reduction. While still, Flak gains gun damage and fire rate. So when I'm using the Monarch in bipod mode, I'm getting increased gun damage. Uh, when I'm running around with my light show, I'm just getting health regen. So I've got like my two guns sort of help me out on very different occasions. Like it's just a really handy skill to have. And you, yeah, it's I, I, rec I recommend it when trying to replicate this build. It's very handy and you do notice the difference. Uh, the fast and the furious. So while above half health, flex gun damage and movement speed are increased. So this is just adding towards my gun damage. Uh, I've got an extra two points for my uh, class mod, which is pretty handy. So you can see I'm getting an extra 42% gun damage, which is pretty huge. Hidden machine. When an enemy has no target or is attacking a different target, flak deals increased damage against them. Uh, I've only put three points in this because I don't see it to be as useful, but yeah, three points is worth it. Rage and Recover, this is a kill skill, so once I've killed enemy, Flak and his pet um, regenerate health, this just helps that health regen, I could have put more in this, and if I did this build again I probably would, because health regen is something you do have to manage, I am a little bit glassy, but um, 3 points is enough to at least do the raid. I've also put a point in the power inside, so Flak and Flak's pet gain increased damage when Flak activates an action skill, if Flak is at full health, the, at the increased damage is doubled so that can be a massive amount of damage and really really contributes to my damage output we haven't put anything in the trapper skill tree just didn't seem any need for it there's not even really anything i'd recommend in it maybe the reload speed but i don't really find any i don't need to buff up the reload speed too much of the skill trees with when i've got the vlad off company man i've then put a cheeky three points into persistence hunter uh, this increases flax gun damage and action skill duration. So for three points, that's worth it. It's increasing my fadeaway duration, and I'm getting an extra 12% gun damage. So it really helps out towards that damage output. I'm then getting another three points from my class mod to pack attacks. You don't need it, but it helps out with my maximum health. So it, it helps. Uh, and that's the build guys, so um, I'll leave you with some more gameplay videos, I hope you enjoy the video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and check out my channel for more Wing It Way content, and I'll be back soon.
hope you've enjoyed the video guys don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my channel for more wing it away content but for now it's goodbye from me